This is the electric Hummer right in front of you. And I gotta say, I'm not showing it to you because of you, although I love you motherfuckers. I'm showing this to you because I haven't seen it and I'm dying, dying to see it. You guys know I'm a huge fan of electric cars and I gotta be completely honest with you. I'm also a big fan of Hummers. It runs in my blood and a lot of people are gonna make the Mexican joke with the H2s, but also rappers like them. And I consider myself more of a rapper, if you will. <laughs> so I am madly in love with this, but it's an electric car. And this is why I was so curious about it because I wanted to see how they were gonna perform creating this beast. A th I mean, on paper, it sounds incredible. A thousand horsepower, over 300 miles of range. Like it does all these different things. It, it has like different modes. It's got a, uh, the crab mode, that the crab walk mode that makes it like go sideways. It does a lot of stuff. But to me, it's just mostly the design is one thing I really, really, really love. And I just wanted to check it out. And also, how cool would it be if Belen, my wife, got one of these instead of her G-Wagon or her Urus? Would you guys support that? What do you think? Do you think Belen's gonna love it? I think so too, I agree with you. <gasps> now, I wanna show you a few things that I really like just looking at it from the outside. Dude, the light show, look at that. That is awesome. What a light bar right here. It looks incredible. And obviously Hummer EV, you're gonna see this a little bit of everywhere in the car. Now, the sizes are ridiculous. That's number one. I, I knew it was large, but once you see it in person, and I know that's what she said, right? But once you see it in person, you really kind of really take it all in. Oh my God, that's what she said. Like, there's no video whatsoever that will show you this and you'll be like, oh yeah, I, I understand how big it is. You don't, you don't. Cause you're probably gonna look at me and say, oh, Alejandro must be a midget. I am not. It's still enormous all around. You know what? Actually, I'm gonna get Sergio. So you guys can see a comparison of a regular human being that's six feet tall with this. So I want you guys to see how tall Sergio is. Sergio, you're like 6'1", six, 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 six foot. This is fucking gigantic. Sergio told me that the front is huge. And I want to see how huge we talking. Double click. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Dude, you can at least fit 17 bodies in here. I mean, as long as they're tiny, but you can fit them. Look at how huge this piece is. Holy shit, that is incredible. It's like a toy. It's like if someone designed a toy of something that you would design for the future, this is that, and it's incredible. Now, look at this, the tow hooks. They're so fucking ginormous. And my, I have gigantic hands. I don't know why, but I do. And these are so big and heavy and meaty. I don't, I don't fucking understand the lights, all of the lights everywhere. This is a very off-roading centered car. At least the concept is, and that's something I really like. So number one, the first thing I noticed was how big the tires were. These are enormous tires to be able to handle all of that weight. Now, one thing I really liked about this is how they hide everything inside of these dirt panels. Because when you take a car off-roading, you make a mess inside. And they're protecting all of the wiring and all of the cabling and all of the batteries and all the stuff down there. And it looks pretty good and clean. Now on the side, I don't know what the fuck he's gonna use this, but you're gonna open the car, you can just hop in. I don't think you, like this literally is made for midgets. Uh, the mirrors are so big. They're so fucking big, it makes no sense. <laughs> And the windows, you would think that they're bigger. They don't look that big when you look at it from here, but when you're inside of it, and that's what she said, absolutely looks insane. Same thing right here, but the back is one of my favorite angles, I think. I think this is absolutely ridiculous. Look at this. Look at these motherfuckers. And obviously, you have that so you can stick it in there. And what's this? I haven't even seen this. Oh, shit. Uh, it's actually to plug in the trailer and all the stuff that you do. Now, this... It's electric, ladies and gentlemen, as you can tell. But that's not the cool part. Yeah, the Rivian has that. This one has a trunk partition. So if you guys are looking at this, you see there's two buttons right here. It's pretty simple. Big one opens the big trunk. And as you can tell, that's just a simple, regular trunk. But I'm gonna close it. It's not, it's heavy, but it's not as heavy as you would think. Once you click the little button, 
it opens a secret compartment and I gotta tell you, I don't fully understand what the point of this is other than like maybe you wanna throw something inside real quick, but how many times are you just gonna do this versus opening the whole thing? I don't understand, it's nonsense, but it's cool as fuck nonsense and I'll take it. The rest is just about the same, it's angles and everything is just square everywhere you look and I fucking absolutely adore it. Let's go inside and talk about it a little bit more. Let's check out the interior. This is the first thing that blew my mind. First of all, it reminds me so much of the Raptor S, right? The black and white one. I love the finishes. Like the, the color of this is amazing. I love the finishes. I love the material because it's right for what it's supposed to do. It, for, for what it's supposed to do, which is off-roading, right? So everything is like easy to clean materials in most of the places. But to me, what really caught my attention is like these massive handles. They're enormous. And then you also have another one right here. So you want to get up. All you're going to do is that. Use this and then pull yourself up. It looks so ridiculous. But everything else follows that language, though. If you're looking at this, you see how everything is enormous. Look at the air vents. I've never in my fucking life seen an air vent this size. Never. This is insanity. And I love it. I think it goes so well with the theme of everything. You got your regular buttons here. Um, pretty much very standard. Then you have your memory seats, which is pretty cool. Electric seats, obviously, so you don't have to deal with any bullshit. And the seats are pretty cool. I really like the color combination that this one has specifically, but I love that you have vent, uh, ventilated seats, heating seats and everything. They seem quite comfortable. If you touch them, you just give it a little squeeze. And like I said, they're electric. The other thing I noticed right away was all of the panels here. And yeah, it turns out it's a convertible. You can take off each one of these four panels, which there's one basically for every single seat here. And then you're gonna be left with something right here in the middle. Now, I don't wanna take it off, but you can. And it's a disaster to take off the middle thing. It's not a disaster, but it's a pain in the ass. And I don't wanna deal with it. <laughs> but, um, uh, but you can make it completely convertible. But what I like is not just that it's completely convertible, but that you have see-through panels so that you can enjoy both ways at the maximum. Because I legitimately think every single car needs clear glass on the roof everywhere. Like the Tesla has it, the Rivian has it, and it, it makes a big difference. It feels like you have so much more space than anything. Now, this is one of the first things I noticed when I was looking at the car for the first time. I was like, what the fuck is this on the, on, on the speaker? And apparently there's a lot of things right here that have to do with the moon. Whether this is the moon surface, same thing with right here, and there's like some other place that they have something that has to do with the moon. And then also when you turn on, there's an animation where the Hummer is pulling the space shuttle. I'm not entirely sure why, but I'm sure it's just a, a, a marketing gimmick, which I really like. I like everything space. I like rockets, so I appreciate that. Hop in, Alejandro. Oh my God, I'm, I'm not even using the thick one there you go and now 87 percent charge basically it's almost there come on guys current uh range 288 miles now by the way you want to turn it on foot on the brake you click the button you don't need to use your middle finger you can use any other finger you want just like in any other situation sorry i have to say it oh my god i saw the green line come up right here that was awesome that was awesome very a la ferrari uh, i don't know if you guys can tell because there's a lot of uh um, a lot of light coming in, but there's a little piece of plastic right here with a light and it's fucking awesome. This is your, your, your view right here into your dashboard. And I gotta say, this is an incredibly gigantic screen, but if you thought, oh my God, that's, that's ridiculously large. The steering wheel is enormous, enormous, just like everything else. But God, guys, come on. This screen right here is the biggest screen I've ever seen in a car ever by a lot. I feel like a whole family can watch a show right here and never complain about it. It's enormous. And all of the buttons underneath it, I really, really love what they did with this. Really, really takes off after the whole off-roading theme. And they're super, super easy to use. I was actually at first looking at them and I was a little confused, but come on, it's pretty easy. And they're smart buttons. So you can go one by one 
and basically it's pretty self-explanatory so seat cooling or seat heating whatever you want AC uh, same thing where you want the AC to blow uh, you want it to be <laughs> circulating nicely also on the other side obviously defroster and all that stuff steering wheel warmer heater if you will differentials um, hazards obviously traction control watch out don't take traction control off your fucking Hummer parking sensors and something else parking now right here you can put a, a phone to charge there's a lot of space in the car and obviously right here you can do it with the wires this is wirelessly and another thing is look at how fucking enormous this is I when I tell you guys my fucking hands are huge they they really are this is ridiculous what is a, like a woman gonna do with this like with normal hands not like Paris Hilton but like a normal woman with normal size hands what is she gonna do with this this is enormous I guess those that go to Joey's at night know exactly what I'm talking about so you know how to operate this it's BBC night at Joey's guys if you guys need any explanations now another thing that I noticed right away was look at the rearview mirror the rearview mirror is awesome and the reason why is it's a camera and you fucking need the camera no doubt and the reason why is you can't see shit it's too tall oh my god Sergio there he is look at him look at him. so proud he's so proud he was waiting for his moment huh he was certainly waiting for his moment you need this now that I'm in the Storado I definitely need this and it's incredible that they put it in on this one because you legitimately can't see shit back there and it's not because it lacks visibility like the screen is completely open as you can see and clear the problem is how tall you are which I never thought that'd be a problem but I guess to all of you tall guys fuck you <laughs> um, right here cup holders I thought these cup holders would be bigger I I I don't know why I figured like imagine the cup holders in a Hummer and they're so tiny I don't get why then you open this right here in the middle and I when I tell you guys that you can put a fucking family of immigrants down there and no one will ever find them I'm not kidding it's enormous the space that you have in here and the reason why too you got to know where they're coming from right back in the day whenever you got in a Hummer it felt like especially the older Hummers I was a big fan but now as a someone that's buying the car I, I would not buy an older hum Hummer and the reason why is simple it felt like you had a park bench underneath your ass and there was someone else at the park like way further down your car and he was just sitting there there was something that was missing and I think like this is really putting it nicely together edition one that means it has more power so right here just like in any other pickup truck guys click that button that comes down the coronas get passed on to the front to the back and everyone's having a good time right here i fucking love th this car stands for fun for real i want to sit in the back and see how big the seats are mm. Oh wow, okay. This is so large. Like the interior has so much space, especially back here. You would think that it's not, and I know that pickup trucks have it in general, but this is a different type of pickup truck, right? But the space here is incredible. I could just chill like a fucking, like a lazy motherfucker and no problem. You have a little pouch right here. And honestly, the materials, they're pretty damn good. I'm blown away by this because I never thought I'd get in a Hummer and be like, I actually really like the materials. There's a lot of plastic, don't get me wrong, but I really like the materials. You can open this thing right here. Love the leather that they use, by the way, on it. Uh, more cup holders. I just legitimately feel like these cup holders are too small. But either way, I'm gonna be honest with you. I don't give a fuck about the size of the cup holders. I wanna drive this fucking thing. And before we go out for a drive, I wanna show you this. Because the screen is, aside from enormous, it's pretty easy to use, which I really, really dig right now. So you want to go into the car, you want to check out the cameras. This was the first thing I noticed too. There's a trillion cameras all around the car. And when I say a trillion cameras, I mean a trillion cameras. Look at this angle, like right in between the two wheels. And why do you need that? So that whenever you go off-roading, you can enjoy that and see that nothing is going to penetrate your beautiful Hummer. Okay, that's why you get it. <laughs> the screen's really easy to use to be honest with you I just wish it had a different type of design but other than that like dude if you're giving me this shit and you're like drive it which I will right now and I'm really excited about but if you gave it to me and was like here take it would you complain about the screens no I would not complain about the screens now oh we were talking about the moon right you guys see that uh, uh, uh. Oh, 
I get it now. Lots of moon stuff, huh? Is there some moon rocks in here? And now that I'm fucking with all the menus, I realize if you do this here, this is what you're gonna encounter yourself with. Off road, and then you go into another mode, and then you go to terrain mode, and then another mode, and then it goes to town hall mode, tow hall mode. Oh, and there's a space shuttle. You see, that was one of the things that I saw right away when I got in it. I was like, this has a lot of fucking shit to do with that. And when I looked it up, it does have a lot of moon tricks. So I'm just wondering if it has any moon rocks around. No? No? Did I just make that joke again? I think so. Either way. So that's how you use the, the knob. And then right here, suspension goes up, suspension goes down. You do the crap walk because the rear, the rear wheels have rear wheel steering and it's intense. And in here, what the truck actually does is it goes sideways like as if it was a crab that's what they that's why they call it crab walk but realistically it looks like it's gliding from side to side and i can't wait to try that so i think i'm gonna shut my mouth and go drive it a little bit because this is gorgeous this is gorgeous gorgeous i tell you Let's do the crap walk, motherfucker. Here we go. We're crab walking, people. Wow, this is so stupid. But it's a gimmick, but you need it. <laughs> oh my God, I love this air where they're making stupid ass cars. stupid mode the one that gives you all the power gives you all the punch all the everything here okay this is what you're hearing it's not the road noise it's nothing but look what it does this thing gets from zero to 60 in three seconds when you really go nuts and you launch it it's absurd because of the size of the fucking thing it makes no sense it's heavy but it doesn't feel heavy it, it's perfect it also is gigantic, but doesn't feel gigantic. The rear wheel steering really makes a big difference in this thing. And it's such a fun fucking car. The noise, I love the fake noise, by the way. You, you can sell me all the fake noises you want. This is incredible. And it also sounds like right, which is incredible because you, wouldn't, you would think like, what's the sound that this electric car is gonna make? This one, this one. This is the sound that the electric car is gonna make and I fucking adore it. The rear wheel steering really helps you in anything. I just made a U-turn in a small street. And let me tell you something. It's the easiest thing you can possibly do here. The crap walk is obscene. Now, the acceleration is insane, just like in every other electric car. The suspension is perfect for this car. Perfect, perfect. I cannot feel the road more than I want to, if that makes any sense. For how tall the car is and for how it drives, it's perfect for it. Now, let me show you the 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 U-turn ratio. And another thing I want to say is you would think it would be really hard to drive because of how big it is. Right? But look at the I can make a fucking U-turn no problem. Like a McLaren wouldn't be able to do that. This is amazing. And it's easy, it moves right, and especially with the rear wheel steering, it really does. The driving experience in this thing is incredible because it feels like a toy. It feels like what I'm doing, I shouldn't be doing, but I'm still doing it. And the way that people look at you from the outside into the car, the smile on their face, visibility is incredible. Acceleration is incredible. The brakes are great. I would not fuck with the brakes because it's it's such a gigantic car and heavy. Oh my God, I am in love. I am in love. Listen, not every single thing has to make sense. Not every single thing is built for a purpose. And I know that they sell you and that this is an off-roading machine. And I don't understand why GMC didn't sell more of these. This is one of the coolest toys I've ever driven in my fucking life, ever. 
and I want one so bad. There's, I have nowhere to put it, but I want one so bad. I want Berlin. Oh, oh my God, this is so much fun. And you would think, man, it must be intimidating driving. It's too large. What? No, it's not. It's quite easy. It's actually quite simple. And I feel like literally anyone would enjoy driving this thing. It is the biggest toy, literally, I've ever played with. And I am madly in love with it. All of the gimmicks are right. All of, all of this is right. All of this is right. What do you guys think? Do you think each car always have to have a purpose and specifically do something so right? Or shit like this gets you hard? It's a toy. It's a fucking toy, people. And I want to know, do you like toys on the road or not really? You like, you're more of a serious guy. I want to know. Sergio, this is incredible. I, and, and, oh, my seat vibrates. All right, whenever you're going to do a launch in this, the seat vibrates. It's fucking obscene. I love it. I love it. I want one of these so bad. I don't understand how they didn't sell a million of these. Aside from the price of $300,000 during the pandemic. Oh my God. What a toy. What a toy. The fun is real. The everything is real, guys. The everything is real. I want this thing so bad. And it's one of those, like you can afford it, but you can't have it. Because where the fuck are you going to save it? Where are you going to put it? Who's going to drive it with you, Alejandro? I want one so bad, dude. I, I want this so badly. I want this so badly.